Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode in Civilization 6. This is actually going to be the start of a new game. We are not going to stop the previous one, because I'm having a lot of fun with that one, I like it. But I was, uh, there was a request to start a new one, and I think that's a pretty good idea, since I really like the game myself. So, uh, here's what I've got planned. Since I haven't, uh, since I haven't yet actually even looked at a religious victory concept, I'm going to go for that one <laughs> this game, uh, and I have chosen Peter to that end, Peter of Russia, and he's got that stuff, you can read it if you want, um, but it basically just gives me some, some bonuses that I like. <laughs> um, anyway, I've got some setup, uh, some rules set up here, you can take a look at those too if you want, <laughs> and these are the go going to be random leaders. now. I would actually much rather have less of these <laughs> because I want um, I want to be able to absorb a vast quantity of land into my empire and I think it would be kind of fun to try that out so yeah maybe let's see that's three six seven eight including me over the huge map map size so maybe I'll maybe nine in total is good yeah, we'll go with that. Nice little introduction there. I don't know if that's actually going to be in the video because it kind of takes a little while and I don't know how interesting it is. <laughs> However, it might be, so I recorded it anyway. And now I'm talking about it anyway. Uh, I still need to wait for this to load though, so I'll see you in a moment. Okay then, it's uh, finally loaded. <laughs> I'm going to uh, I'm going to settle down here. That's actually a really big... Uh, Radius right there. I'm surprised. <laughs> Alright, I should probably try and find the tribal village that was... Oh, it's right there. <laughs> Whoops. Okay. Time to choose some productions. Alright, alright. Uh, plus culture? Yeah. Hmm. It's gonna take a long time for that one. <laughs> hmm. Maybe a builder would be good. I get I get additional production from these uh, from these tundras I think too, so that's good. Um, however, I'm I'm not sure which one to start with. All of them seem to take forever. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll ooh, I don't know. Maybe I'll just go for a builder because builders are good. Although, what do I have to build? <laughs> Hmm. Alright, I'll just uh, take a look through this stuff quickly. Alright, I found another village there. I will be moving towards it in the coming turns. Um, as you can see, a bunch of turns have already gone by, and that's because not a lot has been happening. I guess that's pretty much how the start of the game works. <laughs> However, let's see what this one gets us. Plus one new population. Alright, that's not bad. Okay, time to start moving. We have uh, another village here, which I will gladly um, take. Oh nice, irrigation. Actually, uh, I think I actually need that one. So that one's good. However, we also have our builder. Now we could go for a mine or a quarry, which I think is probably the best way forward because I need a lot more production as these large numbers can probably tell you. Although that has gone down significantly for a reason which escapes me. <laughs> Whatever, that's good I guess. Uh, plus two culture, yeah, no, that, one's, that one's pretty good. Although another builder would probably go a long way. Uh, that's not the button I want to press. <laughs> How about, um, well a settler would be nice. The ten, yeah, the ten turns is less nice. But we'll see. Uh -huh. <laughs> anything, uh, anything else? Probably not for a little while. I'll just keep building, keep getting some stuff up. Yay, quarry! <laughs> cool. And I'll build a couple improvements in a, in my place, and then I'll get back to you. Aha! We get to choose a pantheon. <laughs> I think this is uh, so early on in the game because I chose Peter and Russia. So I need to figure out what I want to do here and 
probably going to be something towards faith, because I actually plan on using religion this time. <laughs> uh, plus two faith from quarries. Plus two faith from mines over luxury and bonus resources. Hmm. Plus faith. Okay. Oh! Plus faith from adjacent tundra tiles. Huh. <laughs> that seems kind of kind of kind of a good idea there. But yeah, yeah, I have to look through this stuff first. Well, I think I'm just going to go for the border expansion rate is 15% higher because that'll improve basically lots of stuff. <laughs> um, all right, there we go. Oh, earn a great profit. Earn a great profit to start a full religion. I see. Huh. Okay. <laughs> Looks like we're allowed to uh, trade with other cities and uh, civilizations now. I could go for one of these new thingies here. I don't need maritime industries because I don't have um, I don't have maritime things. I could go for gold from trade routes, but I do also like the production. Hmm. <laughs> I don't have any trade routes yet, though. I think I'll wait. Uh, this guy is exploring, but I kind of want him back at my base. Got another trade route, so we can make a trader. And I'm currently making another settler for another city. Alright, we got our settler now, and he is walking over to that spot, which is somewhere we could have found a city. I don't know yet if that's actually where we, where we want to, though, because he, uh, <laughs> because it might not be the best spot around. Oh, hmm, very nice, very nice. I think here is a good place to, uh, to found a city. <laughs> nice, nice. And we've got, we've got a nice big patch of land there. And what's this? Oh yeah, just the boosted thing. And now we can actually choose some stuff. Is this Moscow? Yeah, okay. Hmm, what do we want here? <laughs> that gives a lot of stuff. All right, I need to I need to decide this. I could go for some warrior or something because I've I've seen I've seen barbarians move around there and there's a barbarian there, so that could be problematic. Although I don't know, they they never really uh, do much. <laughs> Not if you have any uh, any military power at all. So we could go for that. That gets you. Uh, some great thing, great person points, and it also gets you faith from various things. Let's see, from each adjacent tundra mountain. Ah, okay, so it has to be mountains, or woods, or districts. Yeah, so I don't actually have any. Oh, I could put it there. Prob. Oh yeah, yeah, two woods there. Yeah, I got it. Hmm. Not sure if I actually even want to want to build it yet. Although I don't know, probably do. Yeah, I'll I'll go for it. So where do we want this then? Could be here. Could be here. Oh, actually, are there any good tiles that I could buy? No. <laughs> there really aren't. Wow. Hmm. All right then. I guess probably here is good. Yeah, I'll go for this one. Okay, so we got the uh, that other civic, and now we've got plus fifty percent production towards settlers, which we are definitely going to pick because we want that. <laughs> and now we have to pick a new civic. Uh, let's see. Towards builders. Towards melee units towards great writers uh, hmm I think I'll, I'll go with that one alright then once this guy's done I can probably get an amenity there which will <laughs> hopefully help that uh, that town recover from its lack of amenities <laughs> and we will uh, yeah we will <laughs> I guess try and scare off these barbarians a little uh, huh. <laughs> and yeah, choose something else here. 
Oh yeah, so the Hanging Gardens increases growth by 15% in all cities, which is pretty good. But I don't know, uh, I don't know if I want to waste 17 turns on that. Oh, actually, this one would be good. Oh, <laughs> plus three. Uh, the improvement, it will remove the marsh. Uh, what about this one? Remove the woods. All right, I'm going to go with that one. And yes. <laughs> okay. And then this guy's working his way over to the amenities. And this guy is going to beat up some barbarians. However, I think that's going to be it for today. Hopefully you, uh, hopefully you enjoyed this episode. Hopefully you'll enjoy this series. I, uh, like I said earlier, I do plan on going for the religious victory this time. And I don't know how that'll work out because I've never done religious uh, stuff in this game before. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this episode and I will see you in the next one. Take care and bye-bye.